Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh boy. Let's let's use that. Let's use that. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Run away, run away. Well, it goes nothing. Hey everybody, you welcome to Children of Morta. Man, I've been looking at this game for a little bit here. It looks awesome. It's kind of like a Diablo, but it's got a bunch of characters that you can choose from and switch in and out of. And uh, essentially, like those are your family members, right? And uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil too much of it. It's really cool looking, uh, and the pixel art is absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it, guys. We're gonna start a new game, brand new game. Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. She gathered her thoughts. Aged wood creaked, echoing through the quiet rooms. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea and a being of comfort. Margaret sought answers. But the goddess did not speak. There was only the faint whisper of something dark something hungry. The old seer's bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. The only thought on her mind, has it begun again? John's mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shard. From his brother came a newly sharpened sword. His wife, gave him a kiss, and his daughter's hugs were full of reason to return home safe. I, I love the story here, I really do, it's so cool. The concept is just awesome. Okay, cool, we're in the game. Using Wazda to move around. Now, I haven't played this really at all. All I did was just jump into the game and kind of get familiar with the controls a little bit. Uh, and, and when I say a little bit, I do mean a little bit. Like, I, ha I didn't even get this far. Rhea, a land long forgotten, a place of unimaginable beauty. That's cool. I like how it had has that kind of like Storytelling almost built right into what's going on in the game. So this must be a waypoint or something? It first appeared as sludge given life. Slithering creatures, small and vile. Okay, John used his sword to attack foes. <laughs> like I said, John used, John used his sword. <laughs> Okay, uh, press a left mouse button to attack your, pr or 
press the left mouse button to use your primary attack. Okay. Not only can they not type, but I can't read. Okay, so I can just hold it down. I don't actually have to, like, continually tap it. That's nice. One thing that drives me crazy is, like, when you have to, like, tap your mouse button over and over instead of just... And it looks like in between swings, like, if you hold down the keys, you can kind of sort of shimmy and move. So they're kind of just giving us a opportunity to learn how to use our primary attack here, it seems like. Oh, we're actually interacting with the tree. That's... That's a subtle little detail that is so cool. I mean, it's not breaking it or anything, but what about some of these flowers and stuff? Yeah, it's a little, it's it's interesting that I'm kind of moving them. I don't, I don't seem to really be moving that one though. A little bit. What about the bird? Oh, there's a bunny. <gasps> Are you infected, bunny? Oh, look, he's, he looks like he's infected or something. There's something down there. Hey. Oh, he got through my, he got through my assault. Okay, evade. Press spacebar to evade. Evade attacks that at the right time to avoid incoming damage. The evade bar under a character's feet shows when they can evade. So it's right here. Cool. Press spacebar to evade. All right, that's nice. Oh, cool. Okay, so it is like a dodge essentially. That's nice. Are these guys goats? Like, they make goat noises, it sounds like. Oh, oh, oh. I almost got hit by that goat man. Another checkpoint, it looks like. I don't know that that's what these are, uh, but I'm guessing they are, right? I think it would have been nice if the... Oh, that's a piggy. A wall impeding further progress. A battle was certain. Okay, we got a special ability here that it's telling us about. John has a special ability to use his shield to block incoming attacks. Hold left shift to use your shield. Okay. Uh, of course, I didn't use it to block at all. I did get a potion, though, luckily. So they have some kind of charge. It looks like as long as we keep them staggered, we don't have to worry as much about it. Oh, oh, dodge. Yeah, so as long as we hit them, we get them staggered. And there's a healing potion. Okay, we got some more doodaroos. Okay, there's like a quest icon there. We can hit F to interact with it, it looks like. That's kind of neat. Uh, the Bergsons, I guess that's our family name, use their shard of life to cleanse corrupted objects. So, plus, plus... Let's plus F, guys. Vanished by light itself, the corruption abated, leaving the shard cold in hand, dark in need of life. Okay. So I guess maybe we recharge it somehow. Ooh, look at all this stuff in the trees. This pixel art is so amazing. This is really cool, dude. Yeah, this, this pixel art... Let's see, gemstone. Greater chests require a gemstone to open. Gemstones are found in different places, like this animal corpse. So is it that animal corpse? No, it's probably this one. There we go. So I'm guessing we hit F to interact with that. The shard grew warm, humming softly from the harnessed energy. I love the voice, by the way. I don't. I need to look up who that is because their voice is amazing. Like if I could make my voice like that when I was reading some of the dialogue that I do in Kenshi, because I do, I have a lot of fun with that. But man, woo! He, he that voice acting is really it's getting me. Like it's it's really really getting me. I love it. Okay, greater chest. Okay, so we already know that. We already read that. We just need to open it now at this point. Okay. Uh, let's see. Damaged enemies burn in fire. Damaged enemies burn in fire. A divine grace. A powerful item that aids you with a buff. Okay. So does that essentially add fire to all of our attacks then? Oh, what's this? It's like a little stone throne or something. Stone throne. Before him was now one more dangerous than those that came before. 
Dude, the, the way that they do this... So I need to start dodging these dudes. Oh, it's space, not shift. Oh, no! Okay, so we got a skill point. That's what that was. I was like, what? That's, that's huge. Okay. Uh, gain XP as you kill enemies. When reaching a certain amount of XP, you will gain a skill point. You can use skill points to upgrade your abilities in the skill tree. Press tab to open the skill tree. Okay. You can use skill points. All right, cool, cool. Gain a skill point when you gain enough XP. Press space bar to continue. All right. Uh, spend skill points to learn new skills. Yep. This tutorial so far is fantastic, by the way. There's so many games that don't do well in teaching the new the new player how to play their game and i think that can be a quite a big put off um online games maybe more so but uh it's just really nice to see really well done tutorials and so far like i don't know if it's going to be this good along the whole way teaching me everything i need to know but so far it's it's incredible i'm loving it the selected abilities description can be seen on the right panel yep that's nice okay call swords down from the heavens upon John's enemies. That's right-clicking. Okay. Press spacebar on an available skill to learn it. Okay. Or we can just click it, it looks like. I thought, I thought I had to click it to select it and then press spacebar, but apparently just clicking it will, will do it. Okay, upgrade heaven strikes at level 1, cost 1 skill point. Yep, let's go ahead and do that. More skills become available as you spend more skill points. Alright, cool. Tab Press tab to close the skill tree. So what happens if I just use this right now? Okay, it's on a 10 second cooldown. All right, cool. Goblins, a familiar threat, albeit farther out than usual. So, goblins. Oh. Oh, I was about to attack and it's like, here, use your secondary, which is probably what I should have done in the first place. Okay, let's do it. Woo! It's pretty cool. I like that fight. It's nice how they introduce you into a situation where you can use an AoE. Magnificent, but dangerous. A land of love found and of love lost. I love these little cutscenes, man. These are so cool. And the pan of the camera, how it just kind of like goes to it. That's pretty neat. I like that. And look at all these beautiful little touches, like just pillars lying down on the ground. I mean, this is amazing. So far, this game's experience. Ooh, what's this? this no, that's just... Can't really do anything there. Before him was sacred ground left untouched in days gone by so there's guys on the other side of this oh they can still hit us i thought that was i thought that was like a barricade but they can definitely shoot through that <laughs> remaining calm and collected the shock of his heart skipping beats was concealed in expert fashion before him stood linda his eldest daughter with bow and quiver at the ready, determined to do her part. Okay, so it looks like this is another one of these. Create a temporary aura that damages nearby enemies. So does that replace the one that we currently have? No, that's a totally new skill. electro Electrolocalypse? Electrocalypse? <laughs> Electrocalypse. I think that's what it was. Okay. Oh, they're through now. Don't you touch my daughter. Oh, I should definitely use... Let's see, what's the divine relic? A gift from the gods. Use, use it in a fight to turn the tide of, in your favor. Press Q to unleash the divine relic's power. Okay, let's do it. Oh, that's right. Got some healing potions, thankfully. Because I needed him. I was definitely not doing so well in that fight. I'm not really dodging very actively. It's been a long time since I've played this kind of game, actually. 
Um, I used to play Diablo a lot, way back in the day. Before the Guardians were not beasts feeding, but monsters consuming, destroying others. They corrupted and distorted, creating even more hungry husks. See if I can keep him away from the the old daughter. Oh, I hit. See, I want to hit shift to dodge, and that doesn't work. Both father and daughter gathered their thoughts, their hearts heavier than before. How would they explain what they had witnessed? That is an excellent question. The ancient tree had been cut down. Together, father and daughter described the horror, the creatures dripping with decay that slithered into bodies stuck between life and death to bolster their ranks. Grandma Margaret confirmed what they all feared. It was the corruption. A cruel entity spoken of only with hushed voices. An ocean of darkness that flowed from the top of Mount Morta. And the Berkson's duty was to stand against this devouring deluge of death. Kevin was also eager to do his part in the family's fight. Especially when his older brother Mark was off somewhere. He was as much a guardian of their mountain home as any of them. She stood. If they were to reach the summit and destroy this evil, as the Bergsons of old had done in the past, they would need the assistance of the sanctuary. Oh. Given to the Bergsons by Rhea herself, the sanctuary was a gateway to the mysterious lands around the mountain. Margaret pointed to the huge crystal at the center of the den, revealing their next task, to activate it and open the way to the source of the corruption. And once Rhea's three spirits are gathered on the grounds, the only gate to the top of Mount Morta will open in this chamber. By himself, or with the assistance of those who loved him, John needed to gather the three spirits from their lands. Without them, he would not be able to stem the flow of the corruption. Okay, so I guess we just need to select one of these. I mean, is there a reason not to go to the caves? Let's check out what's going on in our home really quick. This is cool that the bat cave is in our basement, by the way, I just have to say. I'm, I'm a huge fan of that. I like the bat cave. Oh, there's mama. This is cool, man. There's the secret fireplace that leads to the bat cave. I like it. Finding the spirits is what we should we should all focus on right now. Is that his brother? That must be my brother. Okay, there's a library. I, I'm guessing it'll teach us about this. This is just a codex, it looks like. Oh, and journals. Oh, I can't wait to get into journals, guys. Because... So one of the things that I like to do, uh, lately at least, in my Kenshi series is to uh, get people involved in the story. And I love it. It's been so cool getting everybody involved in the story. And so I think what we, we're going to do 
during this series is uh, between every episode, if you guys want to, take on the persona of one of the family members and write a journal entry about what happened in that episode, right? It can be as short or as long as you want, just one sentence saying, you know, man, that cave was really scary. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. You know, it could be moments of doubt, moments of excitement and, and feeling of triumph, you know, or, or fear. Like, think about what emotions that the characters went through and, and write a short little journal entry about that. And you can do that uh, in the comments for now. I think we'll probably make some, like, a channel in the Discord for it um, so we can kind of keep a log. But it would be really cool. And then I'd like to read one of those off at the beginning of every episode. Okay, we got John and we got Linda. And then basically they have a skill level. That's pretty cool. And then, so I, okay, so we can select one. So if I select Linda, it doesn't seem like I can select a player too. Maybe, is that for co-op, I wonder? I'm not really sure. It looks like that's probably just for co-op. Okay, cool. So let's take Linda for now, just to kind of, check her out because i think we've already unlocked i mean we haven't unlocked all the skills on john per se but i haven't tried out the the i haven't tried linda out at all so let's do that a celestial shard chipped directly from the ancient crystal in the sanctuary it would be the berkson's lifeline a tether to pull them back home before death's fateful whisper did he say Whisper. Okay, Silk Caverns using her bow. Linda takes out her enemies from a distance. You can use the bow, left left uh, mouse button, to aim and shoot at the same time. She uses stamina to shoot while moving. Her stamina regenerates automatically when she doesn't move and shoot at the same time. So you can either stop moving or you can stop shooting, and that should regain stamina. Okay. So if we just shoot here, no problem. But if we move and shoot, we lose stamina. Now if we stop, yeah, okay, cool. I get that, fair enough. Wow, look at all these, this body and whatnot. These are, must be egg sacs or something. Yeah, look at this. Man, this, this pixel art, what is this over here? Anything? Oh, it opens the door, hello. And then there's a map over here, it looks like. So what if, if we hit M? Cool, so we can just kind of see the map and Objectives over here. Investigate Kale Depot Caves. All right, let's do it. Wait, there was another thing there. Legends. What is that? Oh, that's that's the map legend, guys. I was thinking it's like <laughs> something super cool. What is this? Oh, it's gold. Yeah, we're going to need some gold to fund our adventures. Oh, you know what we really need? I kind of wonder if there's a little bit of auto-aim help there, because I feel like I'm definitely not shooting directly at them, and it's and it's honing in. So that's... I like that a lot. Now, maybe that's in all of these types of games, and I just never really noticed or appreciated it. But I like it here. I'm digging it. Okay, so we got another one of these. Uh, I can't remember what they were called. Okay, it requires a gemstone. So we'll have to find a gemstone somewhere. Oh, this game is so cool. I'm loving this game, guys. I'm loving it. I haven't played a, this type of game in so long. Other, other than kind of Path of Exile, uh, but that, you know, that a lot of those games to me just feel like, although the story in those games are amazing, but when I get to end game, I'm just like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, I was hoping that maybe like I'd be able to, what is this? Oh, okay, that wasn't good. And now we're low life. Oh boy, oh boy. Don't hit me. Oh, oh God, oh God. We're in trouble, guys. We need some HPs, pretty bad. Do we regen over time? Probably not. Yeah, we, we need some health. We're in troubles. That was a huge mistake. I was like trying to test the mechanics on that thing and uh, the test did not, uh, did not go well. Is this thing nothing? No. All right. See if we can survive. We need some HPs. Well, we got gold. Maybe we can buy some health potions, right? Where's Mark when you need him? <laughs> Boy, she needs an AOE pronto. Running out of stamina there. Oh. Oh, oh. 
Oh, you know what I could have done, guys? Woo, dodge. We got two dodges now, too. I don't know if that's a Linda thing. Probably. She's probably more agile, right? So she gets more dodges. Ugh. I don't want to go through there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on. Somebody give me a health potion. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, get out of there. Oh, yeah, we leveled up. Looks like we got a few HP from leveling up, too. That was helpful. Woo! All right, what do we got here? Decrease the stamina must... Decrease the stamina Linda must consume while moving and shooting. That seems incredibly useful. Loosen arrows skyward to fall upon Linda's enemy with explosive force. That also seems really useful. These both seem really good. Oh, is this an activated skill? Well, I'm not really sure. What is this? Oh, that's just the skill point. That's how many that's how many it takes to buy it. Okay. Uh, I kind of feel like this is an activated skill and these are passives, but it doesn't look like it. I mean, it looks like Increasing the duration. Oh, oh, this is passive. And it just, it increase. It says increases the duration she can perform. Okay, so we do absolutely want to get that. Uh, we also want to get this. So let's get this for now. This, this seems like it's going to be so useful. Maybe we should have got that first, actually. Explosive crescendo. Oh boy, maybe that's not as useful as I thought. I was thinking it was going to be like more like John's skill. Let's try it out. Okay. That was nice. I like it. Yeah, I think it would have been probably better uh, to take the other one first, maybe. Because that stamina, I think, is going to be hugely helpful. So if you're watching this, boys and girls, choose the other skill first. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, see, her stamina goes down so quick. And uh, I think we really could have used that. Oh, what is that? Nice. Another skill point. So does that mean... Oh, wait, that's not a skill point. Uh, those are those shards that unlock those skills. And I think there was actually one back there, right? Now, what are these things? It looks like they should do something. Oh, there's m monsters. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sucker. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that was tricky, man, because they they knew that I was going to come back for this, and they threw enemies right in my way. Oh, that's kind of interesting. It's just basically a chest with gold. This thing is the thing I wanted to know about. I really don't know what that is, but I really want to know, like, is there some... Because it's on the map, right? So I feel like it's supposed to serve some purpose. Now, I think these are all procedur procedurally generated. I did see that door, by the way, guys. So it doesn't look like they trigger those. The traps on the ground. And I think there were traps over here too. Yeah, there are. Woo! Oh, that is just rude, dude. Absolutely rude. I don't appreciate that. Got out of that by the <laughs> by the skin of her teeth, huh? And more. More of these. Oh. Yeah, we definitely need that, that move that gives us more stamina. That would be incredibly useful on this character. And I think I would take that. If I had to do this again, I would take that first, for sure. Oh, and there's containers. Yeah, the dodge is crucial on her. That's good that they gave her that, the extra one. Because if she didn't have that, she'd be in trouble. Man, so far this game seems amazing. It really does. It feels very, very well done. The story is incredible so far. I love story. You guys know that, so. What is this? Oh. Oh, this seems uh, important. In the distance, a chuckle echoed as another approached his table. Pong of the gods? What? Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I'm supposed to like 
hit this thing, it looks... Oh, man, this is actually... There we go. What are we doing here? And why am I still playing this game? Ah, There's no score. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, nice. Okay, so it did actually end. I, I didn't see anywhere that it was showing me a score, guys. Create a totem that distracts all enemies. All right, I like it. That's pretty sweet. I, that was fun. I just really... That was the first time playing this game that I was sort of confused as to what I had to do. Like, I knew that I had to play Pong, uh, but I didn't know... Those things are cool. Especially with ranged, right? Because I can just shoot him. Uh, but I was just sort of confused as to what I actually uh, needed to do to win, right? I didn't know if it was actually keeping score. So I'd have to look at that and see if there was somewhere on the screen. Oh, we missed some gold. You guys probably didn't. <laughs> you probably were screaming. Get that gold, Van. What you doing, boy? Oh, hi. How you doing? How you doing? Got all these spooters coming at us, guys. I don't like me some spooters. All right. Got to remember to break those. Oh, more spooters. I need to probably start using her special attack more often. But I just, like, the wind-up, and you have to aim it, you know? Like, it's, it's challenging. It's hard for me, guys. It's hard. Oh, another skill point. Yeah. Now we can take the skill that we would like to have here. Let's go ahead and hit tab. Okay, so it's going to take two skill points to level that up again. So we want to take this guy. Heck yeah. Very nice. Looks like we can just keep continually leveling them up. I wonder if there's a cap. I don't really know. We'll find out, huh? Cool, so now it takes less. It still goes down pretty quick. I kind of wonder, like, how we uh, get better weapons and stuff. You know what I mean? It also would be really cool if uh, that sort of move would slow them. What does it actually do? It just... I think it just does damage. It does 120% damage, so it's kind of neat. I have no idea how big these dungeons are. Or even, like... Like, what were your, you know, are, is there, oh, you know, it's really cool. I can actually see my stamina right there. I didn't realize that, guys. I kept looking down here to see how, am I low on stamina yet? Oh, man. And you don't even need to. You just look right there. I, I don't see the HP, though, which is kind of a bummer. I'd like to see my HP there as well. Oh, what's this? You have found the finish room portal. Press T to hold the teleport back to it. To teleport back to it from anywhere on this floor. Okay. Cool. Oh, what's... What? And then what is this? Okay, so this is like... Another totem. So we've got one that creates a totem that distracts enemies. Then we can cast a magical stone that spirals outward from you and damages enemies. Hmm. So can we just switch back to these? Like if I take that one, right? It puts that one back there. And then I can do this. Hmm. I think I like the Totem of Distraction, even though I haven't used it at all yet. You know, it's one of those things where th that's probably a really good thing for this class to have. So I think we're gonna stick with that one for now. Look at that, a chest that we missed. And then I think if we hit M, we can look at the map here. I think we've explored everything. It looks pretty clear. So at this point, I think we can just head down to floor two, right? Just walk up to this little sort of gateway looking thing and hit F. Woo, time to see how hard this gets. The thinnest strands of white fibers coated the ground and walls. Evidence of the silk caverns living up to their name. 
I love the narration in this game so much. It's really, really good. Okay, and I could have used the totem there, I think. And so let's try to do that. Let's try to use this totem and see how it works. Okay, so he is going to kind of attack it. And I don't even know if it takes any damage or if it just, like, lasts for a certain amount of time. It looks like it's the cool... Yeah, so it looks like it lasts for a certain amount of time and then it just kind of despawns. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that's a boss, guys. That is exactly what that is. And he's got some kind of thing that he's doing. Oh, we don't want to get hit by that. No, 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 no. Oh, I tried to dodge out of it. I think I actually would have been able to. I just did it a little bit too slow. Okay, so we got another one of these gemstones, whatever the... I can't remember what they're called, the things that power you up. Allow you to unlock chests and whatnot. Woo! Hi! What is that? Oh! Not cool, brother. Not cool. Oh, there's a bunch of little spideys. I really like how it sort of auto-locks, man. Like, for people who suck at these kinds of games like me, that's great. <laughs> I love this game, man. It kind of, in a way, almost reminds me of, of Gauntlet. And I guess you could say that about some of the Diablo games, too. But, like, growing up playing Gauntlet, that was just, like, one of my favorite, favorite games of all time, you know? I actually remember playing Gauntlet on my um, on my little uh, what were they called Game Boys Nintendo Game Boy. Man, those things were little black and white screens that were tied. They were the coolest thing ever, though. Like, man, once once you had a Game Boy, like if your friends didn't have a Game Boy, I mean, I feel bad that it was sort of like that, but it was still pretty cool, like having one, you know. Oh, we got another relic here, or whatever these things are called, Divine Grace. Upon receiving a fatal blow, revive at a modest portion of max health. That's kind of cool. And I'm assuming that switches out with this guy. Oh, no. That just gives us... Oh, okay. Cool. So that was similar to the one that we had on John that, like, was added fire to his attacks. And it seems like maybe those are called... Oh, here we go. Uh, this is kind of telling us what those are uh but how do we look at divine graces that's what they're called so there's relics and graces very cool oh more spiders caught me by surprise there requires a gemstone right we don't have a gemstone at this point Woo! oh hi hi biggin oh i should really dodge those because now we're about dead guys just about deed. It's a good thing we have that divine grace, right? Oh! No, no, no. Get distracted, guys. Get distracted. There's no need to shoot at me. I should probably kill that guy right now. Because these little guys, I can just kite them, right? Gotta, gotta get the big dude. What was that? Oh, that was like a... That was cool. Finally got a health potion. And that guy threw, threw down webs. It's like a different kind of enemy or something. Yeah, we're, we're again, we're low on life. <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh boy. Let's let's use that. Let's use that. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Run away, run away. Woo! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, we're so close. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, dude. Thank you. You helped immensely. <laughs> Talk about a drive-by. Oh, there's one. There's a bat left. Man, I thought we were toast on that fight, man. Would have been funny if that bat came up there to finish us off. 
Looks like we got a few more guys to deal with in this room still. We can handle that, no problem. Just bats and stuff. Man, that boss, dude. Woo! That dude just like... Oh, hi. How you doing? How you doing? Spider girl. Looks like strafing is definitely the way to go when you're fighting those dudes, those spiders. Because they're going to try to shoot at you, but the, the projectile they shoot at you is so slow that just strafing kind of... Or at least moving, you're not really... I mean, it's, it's like you're strafing. Oh, did I get hit by that? I didn't mean to shoot that. Oh, I see. They spread out when they recharge. It's kind of neat. What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm, sc I'm scared to go over there because we're low life, guys. I mean, we're not a low life, but, you know. Well, maybe we are. Who knows? What does this thing do? What do you do? It's making noise at me. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna strafe. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, spider. Oh, dang it. I was I thought I was going to kill that guy before I had to dodge. Did not go that way. That's not the way it went down, guys. What is this thing? Maybe you have to hit it with a melee attack? Oh, wait, is it? Oh, it's drawing me into it. That's cool. I didn't notice that. Very cool. So does it work on enemies? Oh. I don't know. It didn't seem to really get him trapped. Oh, no. I hate when I accidentally shoot those things. Got some other room here. What? Oh, what is this? Love. Truly a divine emotion. Especially during dark days. Love had motivated this mother to lay down her life for her cub. That actually made me kind of sad, dude. Oh, we can't get out of here. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, yeah. Whew. Rough, tough, and dangerous, boys. It's a good thing we had that divine grace, man. We got wrecked. That was a tough room. Tough crowd, guys. While love now compelled the young one to try and rouse her from eternal slumber. And it would be love welcoming the new orphan among the Berksons. Oh, we got a puppy. We got a puppy on our team, guys. That's pretty cool. I like, I like that they've sort of integrated the story into these dungeons, right? That's pretty neat. I like that. So let's just finish clearing this dungeon out. Oh, of course I got hit by that. Couldn't strafe in the tunnel. That's my excuse, guys, and I'm sticking to it, all right? Definitely not getting many healing potions. You can, I don't think you can make a lot of mistakes. And I think that's kind of cool. Like, I think it's kind of neat that you have to be you know, careful. Like, it's not like you're just doing AoE damage to the pack and then you're getting HP on every single pull. Oh, that's why I wasn't able to strafe some of those times. Because I wasn't letting my stamina recharge. Oh, that was cool. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> I do like that it staggers them when you hit with her. It's pretty cool. It's really nice, actually. Oh, what is this? Another boss. Oh, God. And he's fast again. No problem. We got him. What is this? Temporarily increases rage gain. Charms are magical objects found in the land of Morda. Each one of them has a special effect that can be activated by pressing R. They are consumed after being activated. You can only carry one charm with you before it's 
for activating its effect. Okay. It's pretty cool. We have a skill point, don't we, that, that I never spent. So, this is locked until we have four skill points, and then these cost two skill points. So, we need another skill point, essentially, before unlocking another one of these. And then we'll be able to get to the next tier of skills, I think, it looks like. We still seem to be doing the same amount of damage. Um, I didn't really check what we were doing at level one. But the last last level, I think, uh, we were kind of still hitting for around the same amount. Hard to know, because I wasn't really checking as actively as I could have, for chance. Whoa, hello. The ambient music in this game is really incredible, too. Hopefully the, the volume level is okay for you guys. But I'm really enjoying just the music in general. The whole feel of this game is real. And you know what's interesting is like the, the pixel art is so well done that it's not, I don't even notice that it's pixel art, right? Like I don't even, as I'm playing this game, I don't even think to myself, oh, this is a pixel art game. I mean, when I stop and really appreciate the art, like, but when it's moving, there's almost enough of a visual blur that it just, I don't even notice it. It's kind of interesting. It's really cool. That looks like it might be some kind of boss room or something. All right, let's take a look at the map here. See, there's a little bit down here that we haven't explored, and then this little piece up here. So I'm just going to backtrack real quick, check this out, see what's up. Oh, yeah, we missed a few enemies down here, too, it looks like. There we go. Get that guy. A little bit of spooter action. Whoa, it's dragging me in, guys. The black hole. Okay. Anybody left down here? Well, this is an interesting area. And there's another section over here, too, it looks like. We can't open this. It's just more gold. We haven't really seen how we're going to use gold yet. What is this? Wait, did that take me out of the dungeon? Oh, no, this is like... What is this, like a treasure room? Increased dodge chance. I didn't even know there was a dodge chance. Huh, interesting. Yeah, it looks like it's just a treasure room. And it's free to open these things, apparently? And wait, there's another door? Or no, that's just... All eight eyes studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb. Oh, boy. This looks like a real boss fight. Oh, yeah, this is a real boss fight. What's going on here? Okay, so there's webs that they put down. Oh, I don't like that. Nope, nope. Yeah, we're done. We're done. That's it. The Bergson began to slip away, wondering if this was death. <laughs> oh man so that was it that was that was actually um the boss that we needed to kill to basically complete this entire thing we didn't quite make it guys so we're gonna have to try that again and we're gonna do that in the next episode so <laughs> if you had fun guys don't forget to hit that like button it helps me a lot it lets me know that you guys want to see more and if you're new to the channel and you want a little bit more awesome sauce in your day every day don't forget to subscribe. So, anyway, I can't wait to see you guys for some more gaming shenanigans. Love ya!